Welcome back, Knights. This is Night Vision News bringing you the latest stories on September 6, 2023. Good morning, Knights. Thank you so much for joining us this Wednesday. As you already know, the construction activities on campus continues to deviate us from our daily activities, going to classroom or school offices. It may be a while until we get our complete campus back. However, Night Vision reporter Judith Olivas has all the details. Roll tape. Hey Knights! As many of you have noticed by now, Hanks is under construction. So what's it for? How long will it take? Thankfully, Assistant Principal Mr. Bumpus has some answers. So this construction project is going to probably take us pretty much the whole year to complete. Uh, it's going to be done in phases. Uh, the first phase is going to be the new vestibule out front and then the AP offices. The second phase will be the library and then they're going to work on some gyms um, and some of the, some of the uh, roof systems and things like that. This construction is long overdue and it will provide important upgrades to the front of the school. It's going to be uh, better for safety. It's going to, first of all, it's going to be very aesthetic. It'll look, look much nicer, look more modern. Uh, the gyms will be more um, efficient as far as energy efficient and leak proof. Some of the classrooms are going to be more energy efficient and we're getting some new HVAC systems. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Remember to use the library entrance and avoid any area with caution tape. Be patient, Knights. This construction will be well worth the wait. This is Judith Olivas for Night Vision News. LOC camp will take place in room 216 from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. every Saturday. Chromebooks are required, so make sure you have them charged and ready to go. The due date for your hours is October 28th, so please make sure you have no LOC. I can assure you that many of you are looking to buy some new Hanks gear to show your night spirit. Well, look no further because Speech and Debate has got you. Speech and Debate will begin selling some of their latest merch beginning this week. You can place orders with debate students or with Mrs. Carrera in room 212. You can see all the different types of shirts and their prices on screen now. We can't wait to see you repping Hanks Debate. Attention gamers, the eSports team is currently looking for Fortnite, Mario Kart, and Super Smash Bros. players to compete against other high schools. Players of all levels are welcome, and we also invite casual players to come play during the second lunch in room 603. If interested, please see Mr. Alvarez in room 603. Please come by to see if this is for you. It's super fun, and you may even make some new friends. Join eSports. If you're an employee who entered the YSD Employee Art Exhibit and comp Competition, listen to this. The award reception is today from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Isleta ISD Central Office Theater Gallery. Please come and support your fellow employees and see the amazing artwork they have created for this exhibit. Attention students, do you want to preserve all your amazing high school memories for years to come? Well, you're in luck. Yearbooks are currently only $90. Make your order at www.yearbookforever.com. For more information, follow at Hank's Yearbook on Twitter and Instagram. We'll stop by Weirdo Beardo Jerky and Snacks today. A variety of affordable snacks and food items, some of which include cheesy nachos with the world famous jerky, having over 15 different and tasty flavors, all to wash it down with some refreshing outlets. So don't forget to stop by Weirdo Beardos today. Have you tried China Walk's delicious Chinese food? Located right across Hanks on Lee Trevino, China Walk offers the best Chinese food in town. Try our famous sweet and sour or sesame chicken at the student special of only $5. There are many dishes to choose from, so come on out and enjoy the quality and flavor of China Walk's delicious dishes for lunch or dinner. Looking for ramen? Try Sakura Ramen right across the street from Hanks. Take advantage of our daily specials, such as the shoyu with chicken, or the Hakata Tonkotsu at the student special price of only $7. Or try our delicious boba tea for only $4. Make your every meal an interesting experience at Sakura Ramen. Good afternoon, Knights. Welcome back to sports. To start us off, our amazing girls in volleyball played yesterday against Gano Tio. They ended up winning 3-0 against the Relentless Eagles. Alexa Hack, tell us how they're doing. Um, honestly, it's been a really big goal of ours to just like 
push through because we lost to them earlier in the season in five sets and it, like it really like hurt us like mentally and so um, we really wanted to push through this time and just like win them in three sets. We get a little nervous but then once we find our momentum and like we start fighting like it's kind of like finding our speed and then we just go from there. Okay. So it's just kind of trying to find where we are. Well, we don't have a lot of new players but we have a lot of new people in positions so like um, our old middle back she moved to our libero and then like it's just different places. I'm hoping for a good game. El Paso is a really good 5A school, um, but I think we can take them. Great job, ladies. You have made the kingdom proud. Even though they started on a bumpy road and while getting used to new positions in the team, our girls are thriving. Their next game will be this Friday at El Paso High at 6.30 p.m. It will be an away game night, which means if you're planning on showing your support, make your way over to El Paso High. Our football team continues to surprise us all. Well, it should have been no surprise since Coach Villis and his team dedication to, succe to succeed are evident this year. The freshman team is 2-0 and the varsity boys are also 2-0. The dedication is paying off and after last week's homecoming game against El Paso, the teams are getting ready to put one more in the, get in the bag. You know, this year is it's looking really good. Uh, Coach Feliz is bringing a lot of changes. A lot of changes are being done in the program and uh, things are looking really good. Our boys are going out there, they're working hard, and um, you know, it shows on the field. Right now we're 2-0, our freshman team. Our JV is doing pretty good and our varsity is just making it happen. I think a lot of things are working for, the, for our boys. Yeah, like I told you, they're smart, talented boys and they're getting out there, they go to class, they try their best, um, they go to practice, they work hard, and uh, the changes that were brought to the program are working. Our football team's next game will be at 7 p.m. at Irvin High School. Good luck, football, although I doubt you'll need it. And that's all I have for sports today. This has been your sports anchor, Richard Mandatis. Have a great day, Knights. Back to you, Jessica. Thank you, Richard. And with that, our newscast comes to a close. Don't forget to follow the KVN YouTube channel, Twitter, and TikTok accounts so you can catch all the latest updates. This has been co-anchor Jessica Hill for Night Vision News. Have a great day.